Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome to day three of my Easter theme week where I'm uploading an Easter theme recipe every single day this week from Monday to Friday. So today we are making some chocolate egg hot chocolate. So what these are, are chocolates eggs that are filled with ganache and you dunk them into your hot milk, 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 not milk, <laughs> and they melt and they create hot chocolate. I think this is so cool and so much fun for Easter. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna make the ganache filling. You wanna combine some melted milk, white or dark chocolate, and whipping cream in a bowl. So I use dark chocolate here just because I prefer it. Uh, but you can use milk, you can use white chocolate, you can use even um, any kind of flavored chocolate bars that you have. Like I know a lot from Lindt, they have like strawberry chocolate or like mint or anything like that. You can totally do that. Any kind of hot chocolate that you like. Spoon the mixture into an egg-shaped mold that's either sprayed with cooking spray or lined with plastic wrap. Then pop the eggs into the freezer until they're stiff for about one to two hours. And you guys might see here that it looks like there's like grease or fat that's frozen, uh, that's like set on top of the eggs. So this is because the fats and the chocolate slightly separated. This happens with dark chocolate all the time. It doesn't happen with white or milk. I'm not sure why, but it's totally fine. There's nothing to worry about. It's not gross. There's no like change in consistency. This just seems to happen once it gets chilled for a long time and it, like the oils kind of separate. So there's nothing wrong with the chocolate. It's more just like a visual thing, probably because it's now ganache and not solid chocolate. But we're gonna be covering it in chocolate anyways and that's gonna be covered. So it's totally visual. Don't worry about it. I know it's kind of gross, but it's fine. Then unmold the eggs and if they're stuck, try sliding a sharp knife kind of just around the edges and that's gonna help it release. And then transfer them to a plate lined with plastic wrap and return them to the freezer. Then combine some melted chocolate chips and liquid coconut oil. Place an egg on a fork and submerge in the coating. Then run the bottom of the fork against the rim of the bowl to remove any excess glaze. Then return these to the plate. Then once the eggs are coated, just return them to the freezer for the coating to fully set. Then you want to place some Easter colored candy melts into piping bags fitted with round tips and just drizzle them onto the eggs in any pattern that you like. And to serve, dunk one egg into one cup of piping hot milk. And then just mix until it's fully melted. And so for extra chocolatey hot chocolate, which I prefer, you can add two eggs and it'll make it taste much more indulgent and creamy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. You can even add an egg to coffee to create a mocha, which would be really, really cool. Um, and yeah, if you guys try this out, definitely send me a photo on Instagram. I would love to see it. And I will see you tomorrow for an all new recipe. We are making cupcakes and we are filling them with cream eggs, which is so yummy. So make sure to stay tuned. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I hope you are having a fantastic week. Bye.